Hey guys, it's Ashley Simone here. I just wanted to get on here tonight and talk about a dream that I had last night. I kind of, um, I was asking God about this dream all day because I didn't understand it. And he's like, well, Ashley, did you, did you study it? Did you do your research? And I finally did my research, um, a little while ago, just now. So that's why I'm here right now telling y'all about this dream because it all makes sense now but in my dream my youngest child my youngest daughter her name is serenity and serenity was in a car and she was with my mom and my mom called me and she told me serenity passed out and so my mom was driving the car. Serenity was in the back seat and she passed out. And there was like a um a snow dog, a husky. I think that's what they call them. Yeah, a husky dog, snow dog. Um this dog was trying to get serenity the dog was trying to harm her i don't know what he was trying to do to her but he was trying to get to her and i was running around the car trying to stop the dog from getting into the car to get serenity and this had to go on for like probably like three cycles he the dog tried to jump in one door so i would shut that door but when i went back around the other door was open so I had to shut that door so the dog won't get into her, get into the car to get to her. So it was just like a cycle that I kept going around. So at the end of the dream, I finally got all the doors shut and um, I was outside of the car and the dog was outside of the car too. The dog wasn't ever trying to mess with me. And at the end of the dream, the dog was just looking at me in my face like we were just looking at each other. But he wasn't trying to attack me or anything. He was just looking at me and I was looking at him like... <laughs> like and that was it and I woke up so what God gave to me about this dream was if I how I'm going to break it down this is how I'm going to break it down to you guys so my mom in the dream represented um a mother figure my mom, a mother figure. Um, and a mother figure is very protective. She's gonna do she's gonna do whatever she has to do to protect her child or her grandchild in this case. Um and she was driving so um and serenity serenity her name just means peace. That's why I named her that because it, it means peace and um that husky dog was there to try to take away the peace my peace that husky dog was there fighting trying to get my peace and he didn't even though he had all the opportunities to jump in that car to take my peace, he he didn't. I was right behind him, <laughs> shutting the door, shutting the door. Like, no, he wasn't about to get that peace. And at the end of the dream, I ended up closing all the doors, all the access to where the dog could have gotten in to take her or hurt her, whatever he was trying to do to her. And... At the end of the dream, when we were just looking at each other face to face, it was like, <laughs> just like that. Like, it ain't no competition. It ain't no, it ain't no fighting because there's nothing you can do to me. There's nothing you can do. You're not going to win. No matter how hard you try, no matter how big you are, no matter how many teeth you got in your mouth, ain't nothing you can do to me. And... The mo my mom was in the driver's seat. That she represented God in the dream because God is not going to allow anybody. God is not about to let anybody take 
peace from any of his kids, especially the peace that he has given to us. He's not going to allow no demon, no devil from hell to take our peace. It's not going to happen. So keep your peace no matter what you're going through, no matter what the situation may be. You keep your peace no matter how hard it may seem, how bad the situation looks. Keep your peace. Because God has already came through before. So you got to know in your heart and in your soul and in your mind that he's going to come through again for you, just like he did before. He will never fail you, but it's up to us to get through this test that we're going through. And don't let, don't let that devil, we don't even, even, we don't even need to acknowledge him, honestly, but he has no power. He has no, There's nothing he can do. He'll try, and God allows him to do that because it strengthens us. But just like at the end of the dream, we, we've been staring each other in the face. Like, next. Why? Because I'm going to get through whatever it is that God is testing me on. Whether He using the devil or not, I'm going to get through it. I'm going to get through it. You're going to get through it. We're going to get through it. It's just a test. And we got to remember the battle ain't even ours. It's not. So whatever you're going through, you know that you're going to make it through it. You're going to pass this test. You're going to pass it because you know who God is. You know that he's going to provide. He, You know that he's going to be there for you. When nobody else is there, when nobody else is around, God is the one who's always there through thick and thin, day and night, night and day. He's always right there. He will never leave us alone. We will never be on our own because he's always there. Even when it don't feel like he's there, he's there. He's there, and he's a amazing father amazing 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 and I pray to raise my kids how he's raising me I pray to have that strength to raise my kids how he's raising me because I know he, he don't, don't want to see us hurting and upset and and impatient and about to lose our mind because we don't know what to do next or what's coming up next. He don't want us to. I know it hurts him when we hurt, but he's doing it to strengthen us. He's doing it to mold us into the adults that he wants us to be. So, y'all, hope this helps somebody. It helped me. I wish I would have um, studied this word before I even left home today. I would have been probably a little bit better today. But um, teaching moments, learning moments, learning moments. I love him with all my heart. That's my best friend, my rock, my everything. I don't know where I would be without him. I pray that this short video, I think it's short, this video has helped you because it's helped me. And I'm going to sleep. I'm going to sleep good. So I love y'all. And if he gives me another dream tonight, I will be back tomorrow to talk about it. Bye.